create beautiful academic reports um, within within minutes, basically. So on the teacher's version, when the teacher logs in and she goes to academic reports, um, she has the ability to upload. Let's just go into the grade three classroom quickly. So this is grade three um, for term, twin, term one, 2021. The teacher has two options. She can either just upload a PDF. So you can use your, your uh, school's report template, save as a PDF and upload it. Uh, the nice thing with that is the parents can, uh, it's everything stored neatly and you've got the ability to share it with the parents. The other option is to generate a report. So the administrator would create the template and then the teacher would log in basically click on generate report. Um, I'm actually going to choose a different child. I'm going to choose Susie Smith. I'm going to click on generate report. I'm going to click on choose this template. So the aim of this is to simplify your life. This is going to import everything for you. So it's going to import the, the year, the term, uh, the, the um, grade two term report title, the name. You can put a student number in here. It pulls through the age. It pulls through the attendance figures. You can tell the system that she was two days late that term. It then tells you when the, when the school closes and reopens again. Well, not you. It tells the parent on the report card. Click on Next. Now these was all, this is all set up by the administrator. It takes them literally a couple of minutes to set it up. Once it's set up, you can just basically just fly through each one and tell um, the system how that child mastered those skills. Click on Next. Add your teacher's comments. Um, and then you can put in your headmaster's comments and the principal's comments. Once you click submit, you can then preview the report. Simple as that. So there's the report card. Let me just go back a step very quickly. I'm in the wrong grade, so it's grade three. And I did it for Susie. Let's go on to Susie Smith. There we go. Preview, preview report card. So what it does is it automatically pulls through your school's logo, your school's address, the school, I mean the report title, the child's name, class, teacher's name, the child's date of birth, the age, student number, days present, days absent. This is what's set up by the administrator and this is the uh, description of competency, this is the, the, the description of competence. One, two, three, master's still trying, not mastered. And then this is what you just uh, pre-selected. The teacher's comment will pull through over here, headmaster's comment here, principal's comment here. And the signatures are pretty straightforward. The way you'd add that is you'd click on your profile photo as the teacher, and you'd click on your teacher profile. At the bottom, you would just click the here button, and that's where you can go and sign your name. Save changes. So when you go back into that report card, you find that student, you preview the report, it'll pull through your signature. I'm going to jump across very quickly to the parent side. Okay, so when I go through to the parents, I'm going to go through to the parent portal, click on academic reports. I can now see all my reports for my child. Um, that these were for term one 2020, and this is the one I've just uploaded now. I'm going to click on view. Okay, so it's pulled through, so the parent can immediately see those report cards. Um, and then I'm going to show you one last thing quickly, what the administration side looks like. Academic, academic reports. So this is what the admin person sees, if they can create the new template. Add a new template, and this is where they've got full control of what they're creating. So they can create grade three, and this is where you can turn certain features on or off. It'll be hidden from the report card. You can choose your template style, developmental milestones. You click continue. The rating code. This is your. your these are your presets. So you can click mastered. Still trying, you can add another. 
<laughs> no clue. <laughs> Not master just yet. Um, and then you can click continue. This would be, for example, numeracy. And then you'd add, um, I'm just putting anything in here for now. Sorry, um, you could add, for example, fine motor. So once you finish, you click here. So there's the grade three one I've just made. You can view it. And then when the teacher logs in, um, let me just backtrack quickly. When the teacher logs in, she will not see it because it's unpublished. So you click the three dots and you click publish. Then the teacher will be able to see that that report template. Let's just check it out quick. Okay, so she can choose which template she wishes to use. I hope that's useful. Uh, it's quite a detailed module. Um, I'm happy to do one-on-one -on -one training over Zoom and get you up to speed. But once it's up and running. Um, it really is, it should just take you literally three minutes per student to create their report cards.